Okay, so I'm gonna do a short video on this Orschlens fixed blade. I made the scabbard for it, and I showed you that I was gonna do this in another video, like do a review of this. And it's not a, necessarily a long-term review, but I've got it out and I've, I've done some batoning and I'll do a little bit on camera and just, I mean, it hasn't been touched up much at all. And I've probably damaged the edge a little bit jacking around with it, but I have got it out and actually used it as evidenced by the uh, coating being a little screwed up. But it's a $9, I think it's like a seven inch or something. I'll, I'll make sure that I get the right name for the title of this as it being sort of a short term review. Um, not a bad knife and for a uh, for a house brand it's reasonably thick it didn't give the exact measurements and I didn't measure it but uh, in comparison with other house brand knives I've ever bought this is a reasonably thick blade uh, they should have torqued these freaking torque bits down a little bit more the front one had come out while I was batoning uh, before I even started making this video because I've, I've done a little bit of just field use on this just for the sake of having that behind you know under its belt before I even decided to do a video on it but uh yeah if you don't get you like some blue 242 Loctite or something and uh, put that back in that it will rattle out it just will um so if you're going to get one of these you need to tighten up the handle scales on it they're not they're kind of grippy they're not the greatest they're not the best feeling they're a little bit not that I'm real worried about sharp edges because this isn't sharp but you know they're a little pointy on the little ridges and stuff around it it'd probably be rough on your hand if you were using it for heavy tasks and had no gloves the scabbard absolutely sucks this is a leather one i made for it which i'd shown on a most recent video just updating on leather projects and you know showing off what i was going to do some videos on next one of which being this so yeah, um, the scabbard is nothing special. It's just your typical black nylon Chinese production crap. So uh, yeah, let's get down to just using this a little bit and uh, we'll get on with it. kind of wet and just not real super hard wood here. Let me try this with a little something a little drier. So it'll make quick work of baton and junk up. You know, I wouldn't want to go too heavy on it with, you know, something super thick, but. And, you know, I haven't really tried to feather stick or anything with this. And I don't think that uh, serrations are, uh, well, the serrations are my least favorite type of blade, but, you know, I don't think that serrations are great for feather sticks myself but I mean, it'll do it. You'll have some sharp edges and that's kind of the point of it, but. Not terribly bad, but uh, you know, you can see the coating is sort of starting to come off of this blade. Sorry if I'm getting bad camera angles because I'm Got a lot of ground glare off of this thing and you know the sun reflecting back and sun is not being helpful to me seeing what I'm doing as far as 
see in the camera view. You know, obviously this isn't a uh, chopper per se. So. But you could baton a small tree down with it. You could, you could do what you needed to. So as a functional knife, you know, it'll cut, it'll do what it needs to do. Uh, it's worth every bit of nine bucks for sure. After I uh, lock tight it and tightened back down the uh, little screw there, I've worked with it some since then and it hasn't come back out and that, you know, obviously, you know, if it does, I'll update or something and, you know, let you know if it does start to back out again, but it's held up after I had locked tighted it and it's held up in this video. So, you know, you're going to get what you get for nine bucks. It's not a terrible nine dollar knife. I think I'm going to get the, uh, the other one, which is a complete straight edge instead of the serrated. It's not a Tonto. It's more of like a, like a clip point. And it's got tan handles, so I think I'm gonna get that. I probably won't do a review on it, but just as throwaway blades for like a bag for in your truck, not a bad thing if you can make sure you got your handles on secure and uh, get you a, a quality scabbard, whether you make one for yourself or buy a different one that fits it. Cause you can just order, you can make you a Kydex one or you can order one uh, on Amazon. You could get the generic handmade ones on there that you know would fit about any kind of like put in your measurements or whatever you know a, a seven inch blade or a whatever and you could order a scabbard that would probably fit it and be better than the nylon garbage so yeah not not the uh best knife in the world but ob obviously not the worst either i mean i think it's usable for what a guy would use for survival purposes or you know just a camp knife or something like that um, for nine bucks, it's a good entry level thing. Not, not a complete piece of junk and definitely better than other house brand stuff. So, uh, I don't know, get one and try it out. Just kind of figured I would show this one off. It does have a good 90 degree on it. I don't have a ferro rod out here right now and I'm not going to go in to get one, but it does have a good sharp spine for, uh, for doing ferro rods. It scrapes them just fine. So, uh. It scraped those two, uh, well, the, the six and uh, they're like a half inch around, six inches long ferro rods. That's the kinds that I like to use. And it did great with those. And uh, yeah, it'll cut what you need it to cut. Probably need to sharpen it up. It's not gonna come super sharp, but not a bad $9 knife if you're willing to make a scabbard for it. So uh, figured I'd make a short video on that. If you got any questions or anything in the comments, uh, just, just leave a comment. Thanks.